Early, when I was a pretty young woman, an older friend told me that I was given one day at a time and to live that day so that when I went to bed that night, I could say, I have done the best I could today. And she said, we have so many opportunities to do things. And life is too short to ever hate or anything. Mm -hmm. She said, we have, we have this one life that we can make it constructive. We can reach out to our fellow man. And since I'd grown up in a home where, uh, see, I grew up in the country, and um, there, out in the country, if the neighbors don't help each other, they're in bad shape. So I sort of grew up expecting to hold out a hand. But it, it was a part of, I guess it became a part of my being, mm -hmm. was to, to, and, not not try to pick somebody up. I'm, I don't believe in that. But to maybe get out in the ditch with him and help him build it up. And maybe that's why, why like uh, Hendrix is, uh, why I feel like I'm investing something, is uh, I'm, I'm helping. I'm giving these kids something that they can build a life on and make their life worthwhile. And I just had a letter, and we don't have it now, uh, but I had a letter about two days ago from a girl, and it, I, it warmed my heart. She told me that she was able, through her, her scholarship here, that she's worked in Africa. And I thought, I'm through her. Mm -hmm. I've been to Africa. I've actually been to Africa, but not in the part that she was working in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just, of course, I've had such a good life. Mm -hmm. Best life of anybody I've ever known. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've been more places, done more things. And uh, we had a good marriage, so you just you just can't beat that. So I just sit sit back sometimes, and I think, how could life? How could one person have had such a wonderful life?